Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video, as you can tell from the title of the video, is a self-care routine and an emphasis on smooth skin. So you're probably wondering why I'm in the kitchen. I usually like to get a drink before I kind of go into my self-care routine. So today I'm going to be making matcha. I'm just getting all of my ingredients out right now to make it. So this is kind of like a sip, relax, and self-care type of video. So go ahead and grab your drink get into your bathroom and follow along. If you enjoy content like this or enjoy self-care, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more self-care and routine videos. Now let's go ahead and jump into how to get the smoothest skin possible. I'm just going to head into the bathroom and get my stuff set up. So I'm just going to go and get my coaster and my matcha together and then I'm going to go and get my candle lit. I did pick this up from Trader Joe's as you can see. It's a mango and tangerine scented candle and it smells delightful. It literally smells like summer. So obviously always set a candle up whenever you are going into your self-care routine kind of romanticize it a bit i love doing that whatever you feel like you you know would work best for you whether it's candle diffuser whatever it is anything that kind of smells good and gets you in a energized or just overall happy mood you know i have to take a picture but i'm going to go ahead and start um with skincare so i'm just going to set my matcha aside so i can show you guys the products which I'll be starting with the CeraVe Renewing Salicylic Acid Cleanser. This is a very gentle cleanser that I like to use on my face on a daily basis, and I feel like it just gets my skin clean without stripping it of its natural oils. Then I'm gonna go in with the St. Ives Blackhead Clearing, and I use this sparingly. I use it probably about two or three times a week. After using it, I can definitely tell the difference in how my skin feels. It feels super smooth. It's supposed to get rid of the blackheads, but overall it just feels really smooth um, and just kind of busts my face out. Then I'm going to go in with the Ordinary Vitamin C Suspension for a little bit of extra shine for the summertime. That kind of rhymed. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to go in with the Niacinamide by the Ordinary to kind of clear out any fine lines or wrinkles um, just to create an overall smooth kind of dewy look. And once I have that lined up, I'm going to grab my moisturizer, which is the Soon Jung Moisturizer. You can purchase this on Amazon. I usually stick with the Dew Moisturizer, which if you guys have seen my previous videos, you know how much I love that. Um, but this I've tried recently, and I really like the hydration that it gives. So I'm really a fan of this as well. Then I'll go in with my sunscreen from Trader Joe's, which if you guys see this at your Trader Joe's, immediately grab it, because they usually never have it. Um, and it just feels super smooth, and it doesn't feel really oily. So this is the skincare lineup. Let's go ahead and get started. So while I'm getting started, I'm just going to take a quick sip of matcha to get that out of the way. And then I'm going to grab my headband just to get my hair completely out of my face. And I'll link these down below as well. I love these. They're just like the softest and cutest things. And I feel so pampered and just posh whenever I wear them. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on before starting this skincare completely. All right, so one last sip of matcha, and then before I even get started, I'm gonna grab my phone. This is the most important part. Grab your phone and find any kind of music that you wanna listen to. Since this is a smooth skin routine, we're gonna do smooth jazz, <laughs> or find anything really that you like to listen to. Um, so I'm gonna get that on and then get my hands washed. It's so important to clean your hands whenever you are doing your, any skincare or any, you know, skin care, which is your body or your face, but facial care specifically because you don't want to transfer any oils or dirt or whatever is it is under your fingernails onto your face unknowingly, which is why I have this handy dandy scrub. So I'm going to go underneath my nails, get that all scrubbed out. 
and make sure everything is as clean and as fresh as possible. Okay, so starting with the cleanser, like I mentioned, this is the Essay Cleanser from V. I use this on a daily basis. It's got a nice texture to it. Um, not too heavy, definitely light enough on my skin. So you want to make sure you get a clean base um, on your face and you can double cleanse. Today I only did a single cleanse because I was going behind with the um, cleansing scrub from St. Ives after this. But I will typically do a double cleanse just to make sure every, every bit of dirt is off my face. Now that the face is cleaned, I'm going to go in with the blackhead clearing scrub. And of course, obviously use this if you have blackheads and you want to concentrate on a certain area to kind of get those cleared up. But right now I'm just using it to kind of buff my face out and make it as smooth as possible, which I'm trying to show you guys. Um, the It's sort of got like a little bit of grainy texture to it to kind of scrub your face and clear it of those blackheads. I don't think I did a good job of showing you guys. You probably are like, why are your hands all in here? But I'm trying to show you guys the texture. Um, and it's super smooth on your skin. It doesn't feel like super rough like some other maybe exfoliating type of scrubs do, but this one is just chef's kiss. It just feels amazing. So I'm showing you guys kind of close up the areas that I'm focusing on. I usually focus on my nose and the cheek area because I feel like I have a problem in that area with blackheads and I just want to smooth that out. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up with that and get that rinsed off before moving on to the next step. I totally lied. So the next step actually isn't even anything with skincare. I'm just going to head to the shower. I usually like to start um, my shower after I've cleaned my face just because when I'm in the shower, I like to kind of get my face wet a little bit and I don't want any products that I use to be on my face to get like washed off. So I'm going to go ahead and get undressed and head into the shower to focus on overall body care. Okay, so now that we are rinsed off and getting in the shower, I'm going to go and start with my feminine care, which I use the Dove Unscented Soap and the Love Wellness pH Balancing Cleanser. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first, take care of those areas, obviously not on camera and not for free. I'm joking. That wasn't even funny. Um, but I'm going to go and get those areas um, out of the way before I move on to just the overall um, smoothing process of this video. Okay, so shaving, which is probably the most important part of feeling smooth. I'm going to start in with the EOS um, shaving cream, and I think this is the vanilla scent. Feels super smooth. It's affordable. Love it. I really don't have any complaints. So I'm going to start with my underarms. Sorry, I'm like up close and personal. And I usually use my Billy razor, but today I use, I think this is like the Schick razor. So anything that you feel is going to just get the job done, which this did. I'm going to go ahead and go in and shave and you guys saw me rinsing it off. Always rinse off your razor before you do another pass just to make sure you get an even, um, an even shave or, you know, gets all the hair out that was just recently shaved. Um, so I'm going to go in, get my underarms nice and squeaky clean and as smooth as possible. And then once I finish that process, I will move on to the bottom half and focus on legs. So one of the things you want to focus on whenever you are shaving your legs, and I notice this a lot, like if you guys have ever had strawberry your legs or your pores kind of stand out a little bit more after you shave, I feel like a way to kind of mitigate that or that I've noticed on me is kind of shaving obviously in the direction of your hair. Everybody should know that at this point, but I know some people might not, but shave in the direction that your hair goes. So I shave downwards to minimize any kind of 
in large pores or just, you know, any kind of cuts or scrapes that, you know, are unnecessary, shave down um, and it just creates an overall like smooth look. I'm also going to go in with my coconut milk body scrub um, from Brooklyn Botany, which I can put that down below in the description box for you guys. Um, I get it off Amazon and then I just exfoliate after. I've seen people exfoliating before they shave, which I find that really odd because it just doesn't make sense to me. I'm going to exfoliate after I've gotten all the hair off. But once I've done that, done the legs and the underarms, I'm going to go in and exfoliate a little bit more with the Naturium Salicylic Acid and my African Nut Sponge. If you guys, again, have seen my previous videos, this stuff I will die by and I will live by. I love these two together. They're the perfect combo. One, the African Nut Sponge just really cleanses and kind of gets rid of any kind of dry, flaky skin, whatever the case is, it just exfoliates. And the salicylic acid creates a smooth texture without leaving your skin just feeling like dry or rough and raw. So now that I finished the scrubbing process, I'm just going to go ahead and rinse off, which look at how smooth that looks. I just, I love it. I love this combo. So after I've rinsed that off, I'm going to go in with the final step, which is the Solitaire um, Body Wash. It's the Exotic Pulp. It's like a vitamin C kind of brightening one. So I felt like this was going to give me not the look that I wanted, but just kind of top it all off. So I'm going to go ahead and put that onto my African nut sponge as well, um, just to kind of finish up with the exfoliating process and kind of reinforce it. So I'll go in and finish cleaning with that and it just leaves like the best smell. You can really do this with any body wash that you like. <laughs> Okay, so no more um, products, but the last step of this, I'm going to take my exfoliating gloves, which I just picked these up at Target, and just kind of reinforce the area that I shaved in. So I'll go in where my legs are, and then also go into my underarm area to get an extra bit of um, exfoliation in those areas. And I am done. I'm just going to go ahead and dry off, feel amazing, and step out of the shower so I can start or really finish up the rest of my skincare process. So... I showed you guys the vitamin C suspension, so I'm going to go in with that, and this is just another kind of like brightening, um, obviously dark spot lightening treatment or um, product, so I'm just going to go ahead and scroll, scroll, scrub that or rub that all over my face, um, and it has like a bit of a gritty texture, which is a little odd, but it creates kind of like a buffed feeling on my face, which just adds to the overall smooth texture or look that I'm going for, and then I'm going to go in with my niacinamide. Niacinamide does help with fine lines and wrinkles, so I'm just going to go in, and it was my day to do this anyway, put that on my face um, and kind of just dab that in. I'm going to let it kind of soak into my skin, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to move on to my body care products. Now that the last sip of matcha has basically been taken, um, I'm going to go in with my body products. So I'm just showing you, I have my Lubriderm, the unscented lotion, I have my deodorant, and then I have my vitamin E oil blend, which just creates a beautiful, beautiful feeling on your skin. Then I also have this Vaseline body oil that I like to go in with for a little bit of extra shine and smoothness. Right now I'm just showing you the bounciness and smoothness of my face after the niacinamide has completely dried off. I'm going to go in with the Soon Jung as well. Um, this is the moisturizer that I was mentioning earlier. Definitely keeps my face hydrated um, and smooth all day. It doesn't leave an oily feeling on my face, which I love. Um, so I like to apply that basically all over my face, of course, and then on my neck as well. Never neglect your neck. Your skincare does not stop at your face. So always get your neck as well if you're not, you know, actively targeting that area. After I've done that, I'm going to go with my facial sunscreen because it is hot and the sun is constantly out here in Houston. So I'm just going to apply that and kind of top it all off. I got a little too much, um, so I did apply that on my neck, but I cannot rave enough about this Trader Joe's sunscreen. 
It literally works wonders on my skin. I feel like it does something to my skin outside of like protecting it from like the UV rays. But after I have done that, I'm just going to go ahead and put my Mario Videscu lip balm on. It doesn't matter which one you want. This is one that I do enjoy, but I do notice I have to apply it a lot more. But just to kind of finish out the smoothness of everything, I'm just going to go ahead and moisturize my lips and move on to body care. So I do have the Lubriderm Lotion. This one is, I don't think it's the unscented one, but it has a very light scent, which I typically tend to gravitate towards because... I like any kind of perfumes or whatever I'm wearing to really be the star of the show. So I typically stick with, stick with unscented um, lotions. Um, so I'm just going to rub that all over. It does leave my skin feeling really smooth and not greasy. And it doesn't have like a watery base. Like if you guys have ever had lotion with like a watery feeling, it just does not feel moisturizing at all. This one feels light enough but still thick enough to make sure that my legs are nice and moisturized. Then I'm going to go with the vitamin E. And I'll show you closer up um, whenever I move up to the top half of my body. I'm just doing the bottom half right now. My vitamin E oil and just kind of lock in and seal that moisture in. And then apply the Vaseline body oil on top for a little bit of extra shine. So like I said, just showing you up close, this is the Trader Joe's Vitamin E Oil Blend. Um, I do apply a good amount, not too much, but just enough to cover like my arms, neck, chest area, um, and then kind of double back with the Vaseline body oil as well, just to kind of complete the entire process. So now that my body is nice and moisturized, I'm going to go in with this Heal Genius um, moisturizer from Soap and Glory. This stuff I recently tried and it feels fantastic. It leaves my feet feeling like smooth literally all day. Even if I'm wearing sandals and walking a lot, my feet never feel rough and dry. So sealing it off from head to toe, we are basically done with the routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing. I will see you guys on my next one and let me know what you guys enjoyed or what you guys use to create a smooth texture on your body on a daily basis in your skincare routine. I will see you guys in the next one and I hope you guys remember to stay safe and take care of yourself.